LinkedIn has a new video feed. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to record, edit, and subtitle your LinkedIn shorts in under 10 minutes. Step number one, record your video. Now that LinkedIn has a TikTok style video feed available on the mobile app, meaning when you click on a video, you're actually encouraged to swipe up, swipe up, and swipe up to discover more videos. I recommend that going forward, you upload and record all videos in a vertical format. Now, can you still upload horizontal or square videos on LinkedIn? The answer is absolutely. However, both of them are going to have black margins at the top and at the bottom of the video when they're viewed on mobile. So again, it doesn't look too aesthetically pleasing and you might as well be recording your videos in a vertical format. If you're wondering how long your video should be, the maximum allowed limit for LinkedIn is 15 minutes. However, I strongly encourage you to keep your videos around two minutes long because yes, on the desktop, you have the option to increase the playback speed for videos. Very important. And I personally always select 2x for everything. However, in this brand new feed that we have on the mobile app, there is no such an option to increase the playback, which means if you're going to upload an overly long video, uh, chances are people are just going to swipe up to see the next one. So hold your phone at the eye level, look directly into the camera, and most importantly, do not stop recording. Even if you mess up 3000 times in the middle, just pause, take a breath, and repeat that part into your phone, into the camera, because in the next step, I'm gonna show you how to super quickly edit your video. And it is so much easier to do when you have one file, one footage, rather than multiple fragments. Real quick, if you want to attract inbound leads on LinkedIn, get inside of our free profile makeover. Every Thursday, I run intimate workshops on Zoom, showing you the latest strategies for lead generation. So click the link in the description to join and I can't wait to see you at our next Zoom session. Step number two, edit your video. Now, I'm willing to bet that you're not gonna find a faster editing tool than TimeBot. Here's how it works. I throw in my video into TimeBot and you're gonna see that the first thing it's going to do is automatically remove all the silences. So all the parts you're seeing right now in red are all the parts where I was kind of thinking, being silent, because I was thinking about what to say next and all of that gets automatically removed. The next thing I want to do is use the keyboard shortcuts over here to red out all the parts where I messed up. And it looks like here I might be messing something up. So I'm just going to play this together with you. I'm going to increase the playback speed and let's listen. Oh, and did I mention you can actually scroll? Oh, and did I mention you can actually scroll on the bottom to act? Oh, and did I mention you can? Okay, so you see, I'm repeating myself multiple times. So what I would actually do right now, there's a keyboard shortcut B, which removes the previous green cut. So I click B and I click B again, and that immediately removed anything that does not need to be there. Now, if I go here as well, it looks like I messed something up here. I remember this is what's the part. So I just listen to it. Number two, you, oh, I messed up. Number two, you can use keyboard short. Now you see, I could click B to remove this, but I also have to remove this part. So what I'm gonna do is another keyboard shortcut, which is S, that means split. It introduces a split and again, I can either click B or there's also a way to simply click into this and it made it red. Now, the last thing I want to do is add some crop-ins and crop-outs to make this video more fun to watch. So let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna play this from the beginning. Uh, let's just do let it. Let me show you how quickly you can edit your video using time bolts. So you're gonna go using time bolt. So that would be a natural split. I'm going to click S on a keyboard and we're going to just continue going. You're going to see what's going to happen. So you're going to go ahead and drag and drop your file into the tool. And then number one, it will automatically remove all the silences into the tool. I think I could do another split here. And the reason I'm doing a split is because this fragment I'm actually going to crop in or as time bolt calls it punch in. So again, there's a keyboard shortcut for this, or you can double click and you can just say punch in 25%. So here's what's gonna happen. And now if we play this again, using time ball. So you're gonna go ahead and drag and drop your file into the tool. And then number one, it will automatically. So you see we have crop ins and crop outs. And by the way, I know it looks like it changes the dimensions of the video. The dimensions actually will always remain the same. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the video to add in some more punch ins and punch outs. All right, so the crop ins and crop outs are done. And what we're gonna do right now is simply scroll to the bottom to either export our video or if you are a slower speaker and if you want to increase the playback speed of your video by default, you can actually activate turbo mode, which is awesome. And you're gonna see that it's gonna increase the speed of your video by 1.125x and it's still gonna look very natural when you export. So again, you can either do an export here with a turbo mode on or a simple export over here. Click the link in the description to try TimeBolt absolutely free. And once you fall in love with the soul like I have, you can actually use code Vendy10 to get 10% off. Step number three, add subtitles. 
Now, there are many tools in the market that can help you do this, though some of them are a little pricey. So I love that CapCut allows you to add subtitles to your videos absolutely free. Click the link in the description to download CapCut on your computer and let's do this together. So you want to click new project, drag and drop the time out video you just edited, and then we're gonna take this video and also drag it into the timeline. From here, you want to click text, then we're gonna select auto captions over here, and we're gonna click create. So CapCut right now is gonna automatically transcribe your video and add captions to it. So now if I click on the captions over here, you can see that, you know, they don't look that cute because you can't even read them. So we definitely have to change the style. So we can select any caption. It honestly does not matter which one because anything you change is gonna be applied to all of them. Then I want you to head over to templates because CapCut has some awesome templates. Now, if you are in a pro plan by any chance, I really like how this actually looks. So let me just make sure the audio is off so you can play and see how this style looks. And there's another one, this style over here, which looks really, really good because again, the color is actually jumping behind. However, I did tell you, I'm gonna show you how we can make this work on the free plan. So the free template I really like is this one over here. So we're gonna select it. And if you just look at it right now, it kind of looks, well, maybe a little boring. However, we're about to make it really, really awesome. So right now we're gonna head over to basic. And first of all, I actually want to capitalize all of the letters. Now, the next thing I definitely want to increase the font, maybe something like this. Let's play just to see. So that seems like a nice, maybe almost too big, something like this. The next thing I actually I'm gonna do is change the color for the inside, so inside of the letters and the outline. All right, so I'm going to change the color to be yellow. I'm actually gonna use my brand color over here. I'm gonna change the hex code to be this one, and now we have the yellow selected. And I also want to change the outline. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit, find the stroke color over here. And again, I'm gonna remove this black color and I'm gonna have my um, default one. And actually, if I look at it right now, this seems a little too light. So I might just actually drag this to make it a little darker. And now if I play the video, I am actually quite happy with our subtitles. Now, one more thing, of course, if you see that anything needs to be changed in your captions, you can simply click here into the captions. And, and there, again, you can double click and you can just remove a word and fix it if needed. When you have added your subtitles, you're gonna go ahead and click export in the upper right hand side corner over here. Very important, I want you to select MP4 as the format for LinkedIn. And one more really cool thing you can actually do is to change the cover, which is gonna be the first frame people see on LinkedIn. So I'm just gonna quickly select edit cover. And now I actually can go through the video and I typically just find a fragment that I really like. So I click through it. Now, problem with me is that I do move too fast. All right, so I'm just gonna select this one, click select from video, uh, which I think already was selected. So do I just say edit? I think so. Edit, I wanna keep it the same for me, though of course, as you can see, there's like lots of things you can add here, more text, more shapes. You can design your own cover basically, which is pretty awesome. Though for now, I'm gonna simply click save, and now we can go ahead and actually export your video. Your video is ready, so let's go ahead and actually upload it on LinkedIn. You want to click media over here, and then you're gonna simply select the video you just added subtitles to. So I have the CapCut video over here, and the first thing I want you to notice is that the first frame is the one we selected in CapCut. So very helpful here, and very important part because we already have awesome subtitles on it. You actually want to go to captions and turn off LinkedIn's automatic captions because honestly, they're not that cute. So I'm gonna turn this off, we're gonna click apply, and we're gonna go to next. And of course, now we're gonna add text, the copy behind your video, and you're gonna go ahead and publish it. My love, if this video was helpful, I would just so appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button down below. We had a big juicy goal for 100K subscribers by the end of this year, and I am so off track that I don't know how to catch up, though I would so, so appreciate your support if you could kindly subscribe to the channel. Now, if you wanna learn more about what content works best for LinkedIn, I highly encourage you to check out this video about LinkedIn carousels. They are super hot right now, and they're super easy to create. So go ahead, click over here, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.